soul did you make up to this fight tonight? First, I needed some betting money, since I clearly wasn't up for fighting the Sif. Clearly. I... Ugh, I had actually come down here a few weeks ago to get some scrap just for the occasion. I just needed someone to take it off my hands. There was someone I would see hanging around the bunker back when I, uh, worked there more consistently. who would probably have the means. My plan was to hang out there like I did at the Nirvana until he showed up, but unlike Nirvana, I didn't have to wait long. Look, I know I've been away for a while, but I was hoping you could maybe help a girl out. Like who? What can I do to help? Seriously? That's the voice you're going with. I mean, what am I going to do? Dude's got a deep voice. I heard the city is looking to pay out for scrap collected from Earthside, Kaya. But now I got all this junk and no one to unload it on. You're an important fellow. You gotta know someone who can use this. Oh yes, yes I see. That I can absolutely help you with. How many units of cargo do you have? Seriously, you are killing me. I'm gonna need you to stop critiquing my impressions. Well, not much actually. Only 12. That's why I'm having trouble moving it, you see. Everyone's selling in bulk. I haven't been worth anyone's time. What is your name? I feel as though you know me better than I know you. Heh. <laughs> well, I sort of used to bartend here. I wasn't exactly what you'd call consistent. Shut up, Alice. But it's not surprising you wouldn't remember me. Been kind of a way more than not. Who is Alice? No one. The other bartender. Anyways, he says, I thought I recognized you. Ash, was it? I suppose it has been a bit. Tell you what, let's see what we can get you for those crates. Do you know I ended up getting 300 credits? Not bad for so little. He said. If you find yourself with more crates, then don't hesitate to come back and see me. We'll pay you out properly for your work. I thanked him and told him to have fun loading all those crates of scrap out of there. And he just laughed and said. I pay someone else to do that shit. I ain't getting my suit dirty. So now you've got the scraps to get in fights. You got it. So, did you make any money? Huh. Interesting you should ask. You see that scrap heap I dragged in today? Duh. No, the bets did not go well. good feeling about ended up hurting my feelings really bad. folks willing to bet. I mean, most everyone there was there to fight, I get it, but if you were interested in even talking to me. Why is that, do you think? I don't know. Rub folks the wrong way, I guess. Like, around Halloween, I wanted to dress up, but everyone was annoyed that I was going around in costume. Halloween? That was right after Cuckoo got hit with the debris, that? Um, well, yeah. Well, no wonder, then. 
to answer your earlier question, I choose to live down here even though it's dangerous because for the most part it's just me and I can deal with these dangers on my own. Up there on Cocoon, there are so many people. So many people coming and going. So many little gangs fighting for tiny bits of turf under the corporate noses, while they themselves like white big gangs. It just seems like everyone is at each other's throats all the time. And then, this event happens to everyone. Tragedy hits and kills people, and the survivors can for one moment feel the semblance of unity in their grief. And what do you do? You mock them by trick-or-treating among the rubble. Well, shit. I guess that's what Rin was trying to tell me. Up at the karaoke bar. Maybe some of us are better off on our own. Relying on others has never been a strength of mine. Not sure what you're getting at? I am saying stop wasting your precious credits trying to bet on others. Bet on yourself. What? Like, at fight night? I don't know. I'm, I'm no fighter. You should be. You should be fighting for your life. Why not do it for money, too? There's time to train between fight nights, that. Bet on yourself.